Hi everyone. Um, so one of our projects lately in the shop here at Boardwalk Hall has been doing um, restoration work on the other two chests that are on 100 inches of wind. Um, they're located in Gallery 1, which is in the right center chamber. Um, and we already have wind over there. There's always been wind there. Um, it's just been blocked off for decades. Um, and uh, so we figured it would be a relatively, comparatively easy um, restoration job for us to do, um, being that we already have wind over there. So um, before uh, the pandemic became what it is kind of now, we uh, restored the tuba maxima chest that is all finished. Um, and now we are working on the trumpet mirabilis chest. <clears throat> um, so I guess with my experience working on these, there's nothing that's really some big deep dark secret as far as how these work because they're on such high pressure. Um, mostly it's just everything's bigger and butcher. Um, I think the I think the thickest piece of lumber in this is probably, I think it's the toe board, it's, which is just over two inches. Um, so we've got some really chunky lumber in here, um, given the pressure. Um, so I guess we can kind of start down here. I can just go through explaining how this works. Um, it does work, you know, similar principles to many other electro-pneumatic wind chests um, on more normal pressures. So here we have our compound magnets, which are very common throughout this organ. Um, they have essentially a built-in primary, a tiny little um, leather valve in, built into them. So what happens is um, the magnet is fired, which exhausts the tiny little valve inside of um, these compound magnets. And we flip this bottom board over, you'll see there are tiny little channels here. Um, these channels line up with the channels you see here in the bottom of the wind chest. So this compound magnet exhausts all of these pouches here. And you'll see the movement there. These have all been um, repouched and these are new valve, valve stems. <clears throat> um, so as that is exhausted, this um, valve moves. This in turn exhausts through a channel up into the chest to all of these hinge pneumatics here. And as you see, as they are exhausted, they pull down the pallets here, which allow wind up into the toe. So this is a, um, this action is different than all of the other actions um, in the organ, the 100 inch, the 100 inch chests. I'll say three of the 400 inch chests have this type of action with um, pallets. It looks similar to a tracker organ, which is kind of, I don't know, it's kind of funny to me. Of all things, <laughs> this organ on 100 inches of wind has, you know, resembles um, a tracker organ. Um, but yeah, um, it's quite a sound when, when these are fired. Um, and when we're testing, it kind of sounds like a shotgun going off. Um, but we are now in the testing stages of um, this chest. It's basically all together, all restored, refinished, re-leathered. Um, and the next step will be putting it on wind and testing it. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> 